I'm Jake Ferry, SPU Soccer. Uh, Jake, start to the season, eight of your first ten games were on the road, including two this week to wrap up that span. Uh, how tough has this road stretch been? Uh, it's definitely something to think about. Uh, it definitely plays a toll on everybody, traveling all the time, moving from one place to the other. But, uh, I mean, I think we're, we're able to get through it. Uh, I think we just got to keep pushing. We know what we need to do, and uh, we just got to execute it, believe in what we got. Well, the bonus of this long road stretch is when you finally do uh, wrap up after this week, you have six straight home games where you've uh, won both the two home games you played to date, so that'll be good. Uh, unique thing, uh, school starts a little later here at Core School. In fact, it starts this week. Uh, your thoughts on now adding academics into that mix? Uh, it's definitely something to think about. It's really tough to have to balance the sports and uh, academics, but, I mean, you got to think classroom first, and then after that, athletics, because... If you're not doing well in the classroom, you're not going to be able to perform on the field. Uh, so it's definitely tough, but I think, and I know all the guys that are able to perform. Well, let's talk a little bit about your story. This is your uh, first year, or first season on the team, but not your first year at school. You are here at SPU last year. Tell us first uh, how you ended up at SPU and, and what you did last year. Yeah, so uh, I really wanted to come here and play soccer, and uh, the coaches really wanted me to, have, uh, to be here. Um, but there wasn't enough roster spots, and so I talked with Mark, and we were able to work it out where I would sit out in the fall, uh, not do anything with the team, and I'd come in the winter. And it was a really nice transition. I was able to meet all the guys like really easily. It's a great team bond. Uh, I felt welcomed as soon as I showed up. And it was nice to be able to have that first quarter of school to kind of get in the groove of school. And now, first year doing sports and school at the same time. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I bet. How frustrating was that last year for you to uh, sit out and watch uh, watch your future teammates? Uh, yeah, I mean, I hate sitting out having to watch games, but I mean, I knew that I was going to be able to be out there as soon as I could. So uh, it was great to watch them, get to know some of the, like the styles, how they play, uh, and I'm looking forward to be able to play with them this year. Well, now that you're out there, you've already made an immediate impact, uh, scored a couple goals, have an assist. Uh, how do you feel about your play? Uh, I feel like there's definitely room for improvement. Uh, I feel like there always is, uh, but I'm definitely happy with what I've been able to throw out there on the field. Uh, even if it's just a quick couple of minutes, I'm just working as hard as I can so that I can do what's best for the team. You scored a goal uh, early in the second half of the first home game that ended up being the game-winning goal. Uh, what do you remember about that play? Uh, I just remember standing there and seeing Mario like, line up for the shot, and I was just in open space, and there was a path right to me. And I was like, oh, it might come right to me. And sure enough, it did. And I just stuck my leg out and redirected it in there. And people were calling off sides, but I glanced over and then I started celebrating because they called a goal. So That's terrific. Well, the last outing uh, wasn't a result you wanted. It was a 2-1 overtime loss. That's the second of those this year. Um, that one uh, at Concordia. Hard-fought game. Let's just talk a little bit about that game. Yeah, I mean, it was frustrating. Uh, it always is when, you know, you're up and then you go tied and then you lose in overtime. But uh, I definitely think that we learned a couple things. Uh, everyone everyone made mistakes out there, and everyone knows what they need to do the next game to show up, perform, and do the best that we can. You end up this road stretch. This current one is four straight road games uh, that open your GNAC play. Uh, longest road trip of the of GNAC play, you go to Billings on Thursday, and then you wrap up uh, fairly close by in Lacey on Saturday. What's going to be the key this week to success? Uh, definitely the mentality. I mean, guys are starting school. they got to worry about that, getting stuff organized for all that. But I definitely think the mentality of all the guys going in, they gotta just they got to be hyped up because... We were a little slow at the beginning, but I know that we just got to go out there and we just got to work hard because if we're not working hard, it's not going to be able to get a result. That's right. Well, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Redmond, Washington, born and raised. Yep. And for those uh, not familiar with Northwest geography, uh, where is that in relation to Seattle? And if you were to get in a car uh, at home, how long would it take you to drive to campus? Yeah, so uh, Redmond's about 20, 30 minutes east of Seattle, uh, just over the 520 bridge. Uh, so... Not too far. Great. And have you uh, decided uh, what you want to major in yet? Yeah, I've been really interested in exercise science. Great. And uh, long-term uh, thinking, what, what are your plans? Hope for physical therapy. Terrific. Great. Well, Jake, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it, and good luck on the road this week. Awesome. Thank you.